2 stars for Ryan Reynolds again as the Merc with the Mouth. And this time it's directed by David Leitch, who recently done Atomic Blonde, which was a film that had poor narration but great action. So he is the right guy for this film. Now, I really like the first Deadpool film. I don't love it compared to many people, but considering we're going to get more X-Men stuff like X-Force, Cable, and mutants like Domino, and X-Men is the reason that got me into comic books, I was really pumped up for this. And considering we're not going to get X-Men Dark Phoenix till next year now, this is the next best thing. Now, Deadpool brings together all these rogue mutants to protect this young boy who had these mutant abilities from this time-traveling mutant known as Cable. Now, I gotta say, Deadpool 2 is a lot of fun. It's funny, action packed, and they did so many things that were so unexpected. It was really out of the box, but it's Deadpool. What do you expect? Ryan Reynolds kills it again as Deadpool, and this time they added more layers to him. They went a bit more emotionally deaf. Josh Brolin as Cable nails it. He is so beefed up. He makes you believe that he is a threat in this film. CZ Beats as the Domino had so much charm to her, and I liked how they play her powers of luck in this film. It really really worked well and Stefan Kasefic as Colossus oh my god he's probably one of my favorite X-Men characters now I mean just in the X-Men movie franchise now better than what they did in the previous films but really he is just such a great character they really captured him right the action itself is better than the first movie and I'm not surprised since David Leach did such a great job in the action in Atomic Blonde the way they use Deadpool in different ways and other characters is fantastic. Now, i got to say one more thing that I really loved. You could say this is a spoiler, but it doesn't really impact the film that much. But i got to say it, Juggernaut is in this movie. And at one point, I was really geeking out because they got him right. They really did him justice compared to what they did with Finney Jones in The Last Stand. I was so happy because Juggernaut is one of my favorite X-Men characters. And I just loved it. It was so unexpected and I was just like, oh, nerdgasm. Now, I gotta say there are some missteps to Deadpool 2. Firstly, compared to the first movie, which was his own thing, it feels like a Deadpool film compared to many other comic books to date. Deadpool 2, half the time, it feels like an action film with comedy in, uh, which was fine, but it doesn't have that essence compared to the first movie. And the other problem is, if you really like some characters from the first movie, you're going to be disappointed because they kind of push back for the new characters, which is fine because I really like the new characters, but don't expect much from like TJ Miller. Overall, Deadpool 2 is a step down from the first movie, but I guess you could say the first movie is more straightforward in a great way. But it's one of those films that's got to get better with multiple viewings, and it's summer blockbuster fun, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. And please, please stay tuned for the post credit scene. It, I'm not joking, I'm being serious. Please stay, because it's the greatest post credit scene in any movie of all time now. I'm not joking. Thank you so much for watching this video. Guys, go like, comment, subscribe. Let me know, what did you think of Deadpool 2? Is it better than the first movie? Go check out my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram page. You guys are awesome. I've got your back.